In the 1950s, China experienced rapid urbanization leading to unchecked infrastructure development. While this progress fueled economic growth, it drastically altered the natural landscape, leaving the nation vulnerable to severe environmental challenges, particularly desertification. This phenomenon has caused wind erosion, soil and water loss, salinization and rock desertification. Today, nearly a quarter of China's land faces the threat of desertification. Over the past four decades, this issue has claimed 15% of the nation's land and results in annual economic losses exceeding $50 billion. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, the Chinese government embarked on an ambitious journey to turn barren deserts into thriving green forests. This monumental project, officially called the Three North Shelter Forest Program and widely known as the Great Green Wall, aims to combat desertification while revitalizing the environment. The Great Green Wall Initiative, launched in 1978, is one of the world's most ambitious afforestation projects it involves planting trees across 88 million acres of land near the Great Wall of China to halt desert expansion and improve livelihoods. Recognizing the need for collective action, the government institutionalized National Tree Planting Day in 1979, celebrated every year on March 12th. This initiative sparked a nationwide green revolution, leading to the planting of an astonishing 78.1 billion trees over the years. The project's goals are twofold. First, to prevent desertification by halting the expansion of the Gobi Desert, which swallows 1,400 square miles of grassland annually. And second, to provide timber and resources for local populations, while protecting agricultural lands. The effects of desertification aren't confined to China. Severe dust storms originating in the Gobi Desert affect neighboring countries like Japan, North Korea, and South Korea, highlighting the regional and global significance of addressing this issue. The Three North Shelter Forest Program spans China's northern, northeastern, and northwestern regions, aiming to increase forest coverage in these areas from 5% to 15%. Since its inception, the initiative has made remarkable progress in mitigating sandstorms, conserving soil and water, and increasing forested land in the affected regions. To overcome environmental challenges, the Great Green Wall Initiative has adopted advanced strategies since 2003. These include aerial seeding, where planes scatter seeds over less arid regions, and financial incentives for farmers to plant trees and shrubs in drier areas. Additionally, the trees are planted in checkerboard patterns to stabilize sand dunes and reduce wind erosion. The project also employs high-tech monitoring systems with a $1.2 billion investment in mapping and database technologies to track progress. Specially selected plants adapted to desert conditions are used, surrounded by stony areas that anchor the soil, reduce sand movement, and promote soil crust formation. From 2012 to 2022, China achieved unprecedented advancements in its afforestation campaigns. During this decade, 960 million mu, 64 million hectares, were reforested, a landmass equivalent to the size of Ireland. The initiative also restored 12 million mu of wetlands revitalizing ecosystems and planted over 66 billion trees. Researchers from Chongqing Jiao Tong University contributed significantly to this progress by developing a plant cellulose-based paste capable of turning desert sand into fertile soil. This groundbreaking technique successfully transformed 1.6 hectares of wasteland in the Ulanbu Desert into cultivable land, showcasing immense potential for expanding agricultural land in desert regions. 
However, this monumental project has faced its share of challenges. The harsh conditions of the desert, extreme temperatures, water scarcity, and poor soil quality led to significant tree mortality in the early phases. Initial efforts to plant monocultures, where a single species dominates, exacerbated the problem by depleting soil nutrients and leaving forests vulnerable to pests and diseases. Over time, the initiative transitioned to more sustainable practices, incorporating diverse plant species and local adaptations to ensure long-term ecological stability. Um, uh, critics of the project also raised concerns about its potential environmental trade-offs, such as disrupting existing desert ecosystems, altering global heat reflection patterns, and affecting the unique mineral composition of desert regions. Despite these challenges, the Great Green Wall owes much of its success to the dedication of individuals and organizations. One inspiring example is Yin Yusen, who spent over three decades transforming 4,700 hectares of barren land in western China into lush green fields. Recognized by President Xi Jinping for her extraordinary contributions, Yin symbolizes the power of individual responsibility in addressing national challenges. Private companies such as REN have also played a crucial role by supporting climate-focused initiatives and collaborating with local communities to protect vital ecosystems. Desertification is not just China's problem, it's a global challenge. By sharing its expertise, China has forged partnerships with countries along the Belt and Road Initiative, and it has helped establish international centers dedicated to combating desertification. Emerging technologies such as liquid nano clay, which transforms sandy deserts into fertile ground, and center pivot irrigation systems further bolster global efforts. Combined with China's large-scale afforestation strategies, these innovations could form a blueprint for combating desertification worldwide. Beyond environmental gains, the Great Green Wall has socioeconomic benefits. Restored land supports agriculture, strengthens local communities, and demonstrates how large-scale ecological progress can contribute to global progress. As China continues its green revolution, the world watches closely, inspired by its vision of turning deserts into forests. Do you believe China's ambitious plan will succeed in combating desertification? Could other nations adopt similar strategies to address their own environmental challenges? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more inspiring stories.